welcome back to my channel today i am going to do a very requested video exercises to prepare yourself for the academy this isn't too complicated it's actually quite simple and basic all you really have to remember is hard work and dedication always gets you to your goals and while you're working out just make sure that you have a clean diet i can't stress that enough it's so important because it makes you feel good inside and out and it's just important to consume your greens proteins lean proteins healthy fats all of that good stuff that we learned in health class i am not a fitness expert there are things that i've learned along the way in the academy it consists of running push-ups and sit-ups i'm just going to share with you guys what helped me in order to get prepared for the academy and different exercises that i did in order to get prepared so that is what we're going to talk about today if you haven't subscribed please make sure that you do before you leave and if you like these kind of videos give it a thumbs up i can also talk about foods that i kind of enjoyed eating while i was in the academy i think that that's super important because a lot of times you're on the go and you need something that's going to be substantial for a long period of time if you guys want me to talk about that either give this video a thumbs up or leave it in the comments down below i am willing to share any information that i have with you guys because i really want to help out in any way that i can i want you to be the best that you can be you all can do it as long as you put your mind to it <laughs> is that like a song you could do no that's that's like missy elliott all right, anyways, <laughs> let's jump into the video. I get a lot of questions on YouTube and Instagram. How can I build up my stamina for cardio? <laughs> and I mean, there's really not a formula to that. It's just working on it consistently. Go out for a jog, try to get a mile if you can't get a full mile within the first couple times that you try it's not a big deal but just keep in mind that you want to push yourself don't allow yourself to just give up if you come to the conclusion that you can't finish a full mile within the first time that you try it's not a big deal try to run as much as you can maybe walk a few then try to pick it up again if you can only run half of that mile and then you just walk the rest of that mile that's also fine just don't give up make sure that you complete a full mile no matter what just continue with that cardio whether it's bicycling i have my peloton back here i love my peloton i think that it's a awesome alternative i like to alternate so i'll go run outside some days i'll do the peloton i like to run in muggy weather because i feel like it it really serves a purpose inside and makes you stronger. I know that's such a weird concept. While you're doing your cardio, make sure that you track your progress. See how long it takes for you to do one mile. Try to beat that time the next time that you go running. I know it sounds intimidating to do a mile and a half, but I swear, you guys can do it. So many people have done it. And if you're struggling with running, just keep doing it. Try to go for a run on a regular basis say that you do four days out of the week where you dedicate to running make sure that you are consistent with it because if you're not your stamina is going to go down cardio is something that a lot of people struggle with but it's easy once you continue to do it on a regular basis it's so important to focus on your breathing when you're running i've seen a lot of people flunk out of the academy because their breathing just wasn't in check. They were all over the place. They're like, Ugh. focus on breathing in and breathing out. I mainly got my cardio from boxing and they taught you that every time you hit, you breathe out. So that kind of helped me with getting prepared for the academy and for running. For me, I would hold it for a second. I would breathe in, hold it for like two seconds, and then release because that made my heart rate slow down and it made me focus on how I had to breathe. Start out doing that from the beginning so then you can just have muscle memory and just do it naturally. Make sure you drink a lot 
of water, especially when you're training and running. I always like to sip on BCAAs or the liquid IV, which I drink on a regular basis because it just rehydrates your body. That's something to keep in mind whether you're running or lifting. You just always wanna replenish your body with hydration. Let's move into push-ups. Push-ups are a pain in the freaking butt, and I, I swear. After I got out of the academy, I said, I am never doing push-ups ever again because they are annoying. But I had to suck it up and do a zillion and a half push-ups while I was in the academy, and I had to do them for my fitness test prior to getting into an agency. I highly recommend that you work out the muscles that you use during push-ups, i.e. chest, shoulders, back. I love lifting weights. I find that it helps a lot, but the real way in order to get established with push-ups is to keep doing push-ups. I know that it sounds terrible, and quite frankly it is, but they get easier as you continue to do them. So for females, I know that we struggle a lot. I'm going to show you what our instructor did in the academy to kind of help us get better with push-ups. Starting on your knees, do arms width apart. You're gonna go down, push up. One, two. One, two. And that helps build your shoulder strength. Now for these, we did a ladder set. So we would start off with one. So we go down, do one, one. Go down again. One, two, and then we would go all the way to 10. Then we would go 10 all the way to one. That's just something easy that you can do in order to get your shoulders stronger and it helps with your chest as well because you, you're going down and doing that push-up even though it's not a full push-up because you're on your knees and it helps strengthen the entire area so that you can do full push-ups better. As far as working out your shoulders go, Shoulder press is a good one. So these are just eights. This is just to kind of show. So it looks like that. Two, three. That's just regular shoulder press. Now, if you don't have any weights, just do the movement. This is still strengthening your shoulders. I know that gyms aren't open around me. I don't know if they are for you guys. If they are, that's fantastic. If not, I would just use any kind of household item that you have. Another good shoulder exercise is the Arnold press. So you start like this, palms in, rotate up and push up like that. With the push-ups, continue to do them on your knees until you feel like you are ready to do full on push-ups. Once you are ready to do the full length push-ups, get a partner and have them hold their fist underneath your chest just to make sure that you're going down far enough that can get you disqualified if you're not going down to the floor enough, which is disappointing. So don't let that happen to you. You can Google any kind of chest, shoulder, back exercise that will assist and make you stronger in the push-ups. The most beneficial thing is just keep doing push-ups. Whether you have to do them on your knees, it doesn't matter. It's still building up the strength in this area. So just continue to push those out. If you really are struggling with the push-ups, start with five in the morning. Start with five before you go to bed. Then do that again the next day. Then move it up to 10. Do 10 in the morning, 10 before you go to bed. You're gonna get used to it, I promise. I know that it seems like you can't because push-ups are so annoying, but you will get through it as long as you don't give up. Keep working on those push-ups. Do push-ups every day until you finally have it down. If you're by yourself and you don't have a partner, I recommend just using the couch. That's what I usually do. When you go to take your test, someone's gonna be holding your feet and they want you to interlock your hands behind your head, like that. See how it's interlocked? And you have to go all the way down and go all the way up. You have to touch your elbows to your knees and that is gonna be count it as one. You come up, breathe out. You're gonna wanna go, so like this. 
focus on your breathing. It's so important. No matter what kind of exercise you're doing, you always wanna focus on your breathing. That is going to get you to the end. For the push-ups, you wanna breathe out when you come up. The physical exam, it's different for each state, so just look up the criteria for whatever state that you're in. For the academy, they have their own criteria that they follow. So they will give you that criteria. If you just wanna practice whatever criteria it is for your state, just do that. So here, I think it's 15 push-ups that we had to do. Sit-ups, we had to do like 24 or 30. And then the run, we had 15 minutes for females. So like I said, it varies depending on where you are, but just do the best that you can, focus on your breathing, eat clean, and I promise you will get through it. Just don't give up, because the second that you give up, it's all down the crapper. <laughs> I feel bad when I get messages from people and they're super discouraged. We all were there at one point where we felt really discouraged and that we couldn't get through it, but we made it out at the end. And I just wanna let you guys know that you can do this. I know it seems hard. I know, I really, really do. I know I've been there, but I wanted it so bad that I didn't give up. And I wanted it so bad that I wasn't gonna stop until I got there. So that's just something to keep in mind. I know it's hard, but I promise you can do it. I hope that this video helped. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure that you eat right, you drink a lot of water. If you want me to do a video on what I eat and drink as far as getting ready for the academy, let me know in the comments and I can gladly do that for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will talk to you guys later.